I have posted three YouTube videos every single week for the last two and a half years. And in this video, I'm going to share everything I learned about the YouTube algorithm in that time period. Just so you understand, I'm using my YouTube personal brand as the primary source of leads for my e-commerce coaching business. And YouTube by itself is making me over 500K every single month in cash collected. So here are my 10 favorite tricks. Number one is if you put in a super engaging and viral video in the first minute of your video, people will stay at that time and not click away. Let me actually show you an example here. I made a video about Andrew Tate and after my 20 second introduction, I just played a 30 second clip or so of Andrew Tate speaking and me just watching and not saying anything. I just let him talk. And all of a sudden I saw that that 30 seconds, nobody clicked away. The retention just stayed completely flat. Everybody kept watching these 30 seconds. And that resulted in the video blowing up and getting like 800,000 views just because YouTube instantly thought, all right, the watch time is super high. Let me show it to other people because they're going to also like it. And this is a really cool hack where you just take viral videos, put them in the beginning of your video and also go viral because of that. Number two is having hooks which are super straight to the point. Let me show you one example and then I'm going to break it down. Let's take a look at some of the best and worst TikTok organic dropshipping products which are out there. Boom, exactly five seconds it took until I start showing either the best or the worst product out there. Five seconds. Now I want to challenge you on one thing. Watch your video and see how often you repeat the same exact thing in the beginning, especially in the first minute. You're going to put in things which you think sound smart, but in reality are irrelevant. Try to get started with the valuable stuff as early as possible. Literally five seconds it took me to get into it. And this is also how you should do it. If you do this, your audience is going to appreciate it and less people are going to click away 100%. Now this gets me to the next point, which is watch your content and try to cut out sentences and words which are not adding to the story and to your video. If you watch your entire video and you can take out an entire sentence and nothing changes, take it out. That was a fluff sentence. Do not use fluff in your videos. Just say something and then get to the next thing. What is there to actually look at on YouTube? It's just five things. Thumbnail, title, hook, main part, and if people keep watching the next video after they watched one of yours. If you nail all of these five, you're going to start going viral left and right. Now, there's a huge misconception, which is looking at soft metrics. All right, I have a click-through rate of 10%. I have a watch time of 24%, of 52%. All these soft metrics you're actually looking at are trash. They're garbage. That's not how you should be evaluating your content. If you're using YouTube as a lead source for your service-based business, it's just one thing you actually need to be looking at. And it's this. If your dream client watches one of your videos, will he either sign up to your program or keep watching other ones and then sign up? That's the only thing you actually need from the YouTube channel. It doesn't matter what your click-through rate is if all the clicks are just not your ideal client. This is something you always need to think about. For example, I know I could go super viral if I would post very beginner-friendly videos on this channel, but that's not my dream client. I don't really want to work with beginners, so I'm talking about higher-level things on this channel, and this is also what attracts higher-level clients. Clients. And that's why the click-through rate, for example, is completely irrelevant. On YouTube, it's just going to say 10%. What the fuck does that mean? 10% of people who saw your thumbnail clicked on it. Cool. But who are these people? Are they good, qualified leads? Or are they not qualified at all? So with that thought in your head, the only actual things you can do is provide a shit ton of value to your dream client and prove to your dream client that you are actually legit. If you have those two things, you will basically start making money. Now, of course, even if you have that down, if your dream client is never going to click on your video or if your dream client is going to start watching your video and then click off after three seconds, obviously all of it is useful because he never saw it. So the next question you need to ask yourself is, would your dream client actually click on your video? And also, would he keep watching after the first minute. And this is something, again, which you can fuck up really easily. If you start giving super beginner and low-level advice and you want to attract people who are making millions of dollars a year, you're not going to talk to them. They're just going to be bored because they know all these things. They're already making millions. So you need to start out right away with talking about high-level stuff. And the exact opposite is the same. If you talk too high-level to beginners, they're also going to click away because what the fuck is this guy talking about? I don't even know the fundamentals. The main point I generally want to make here is content is the most important. Making really good videos is a thing which actually is going to boost everything. However, there are a couple of really good tricks to boost engagement levels and to keep people watching and have higher retention rates. And I'm going to go through them now, but just keep in mind, all of this is useless if you don't have good content overall. The next thing I want to talk about is rehooking your audience every 30 seconds. I'm going to show you one example, which is just 
perfect for that. And this is from one of my clients who's just so good at storytelling. What is this product and how did I find it? I don't know if I can say it on YouTube, but it's a roller for your za, your chi, your grass, your dunk, your gibububama, your wacky tabak. And the way I found it was with my TikTok banner account. So right away, he starts by hooking the audience. And then after like 25 seconds or so, he's actually regaining the attention because of this joke. And after the joke, look at what follows. For those of you who don't know, you can force TikTok to literally show you whatever you want. You can force TikTok to show you whatever you want. For somebody who is in the niche, this is really relevant. And now they want to know how you can actually do that. So these are mini hooks, which are basically included in the story. The next thing you can do is split test thumbnails. And I would highly recommend that to you. It's basically a software which is called TubeBuddy. And you just put in two thumbnails in there. And then after a few days, they evaluate which thumbnail actually got more clicks and more engagement. So that's generally a super simple thing. And you should always do that because not only for that video, but in the long run, you want to learn what performs. The next thing is something you need to follow when you go viral. So if you have a video which got way more views than you usually get, so let's say normally you get a thousand, this time you got 50,000. The next video video after that video is actually going to perform better than all the normal videos. It's going to get boosted by the YouTube algorithm because it's going to get recommended to people who watched the last viral video. And this is exactly how you should follow up with it. If you take a look at my channel, my most viral video is an Andrew Tate video I posted. Basically, this Andrew Tate video got over 800,000 views. And normally on this channel, I've gotten anywhere between two to 3,000 views per video. However, the next video after that actually got 32,000 videos and the video title was my rough journey to my first million dollars in dropshipping and this is something which you have to follow up with after a viral banger so you go viral people don't really know who you are they basically are in your channel because of andrew tate in this case and then i follow up with a really interesting personal story which is basically there to convert the people into fans we have that one and then the next video i follow up with just a few days later again is dark side of dropshipping case study 60k in one month and this is basically one of my students who made 60k in one month and i follow up with a one hour 15 minutes case study or just talk to him talk about the experience almost like a podcast but with a client which is super high converting because he talks about the amazing experience so this is something which is just going to make you so much more extra money after a viral video if i don't follow up with really good content to hook in the people who watch the andrew tate video they would just literally be gone from the channel and never watch again and this is the exact strategy how you turn viewers into fans into buyers one metric which is really interesting to me is viewers to subscribers so how many views did it get and did it get the same proportion amount of subscribers or did it get more than usual and this is something which basically shows how good the video was and how many people turned into fans this is something which directly correlates with how much value you provide the more valuable a video is the more subscribers you will get the next one is super fast and super simple if you put a screenshot or a picture or something relevant for the video into the video just for half a second or one second people will actually start rewinding and watching it again and through that your watch time goes up and if you do that in the first 30 seconds of the video your retention graph will go up and youtube will reward you for that and give you more viewers so putting pictures into the video for a too short amount of time is actually going to boost the entire video the last and probably most valuable thing i have learned on youtube is discovery ads discovery ads are literally a cheat to new clients if you have good content and if you have a coaching business or agency, it's mind blowing how much money you can make with this. Basically what it is, is paying YouTube to just get recommended next to videos in your niche. And it looks something like this here, where basically there's a tiny thing which is saying ad, but most people don't even notice and they just think, all right, this is just an organic suggestion to my videos. And this is the exact way how I have built my brand to over 50,000 subscribers and also 500K revenue per month. And here's a crazy thing. I am spending anywhere between 10 and 20,000 every every single month on discovery ads. That's it. The ROAS is insane. Depending on the month, anywhere between 20 and 50 ROAS we have on that. If you do this right, the leads you're gonna get are the hottest ones you're ever gonna see in your life. It's literally people begging you to give you money. Please, can I start working with you? Can you accept me into your program? And you're gonna be like, yeah, let me think about it. Actually, join, come in, no problem. And this is actually something I'm offering as a done for you service on this channel, where I'm gonna run the discovery ads and the retargeting and all of those things for you. Or if you 
want, I'm going to just explain to you how to do it. And also I'm going to review every single YouTube video you actually post. And I'm going to look over the video ideas, tell you which ones are good, which ones are bad. I'm going to look over your scripts, tell you how to change the hook, how to change the structure. And then I'm also going to look over your tonality, the videos, how the background looks. I'm going to make sure that everything is perfect and ready to convert. If you want to start generating leads through a personal brand on YouTube, click the link below and sign up for a call with us.